Good morning. It's March the 15th, and you can get to the show notes for what I'm going to talk about if you go to the Guy or Cook Report podbean.com and within an hour I hope we'll have a link there to get to these blog show notes that I'm going to talk about this morning about what's on our mind real simple a big thank you to Sprint and their insurance company Assurian for the great great service I got from their company here's how it happened I finally reached the point that my Samsung Note 2 was just wore out it, it hadn't been dropped in water. I hadn't dropped it on the ground. It just wasn't working right. And I have to keep taking the battery out, put the battery back in, restart it. And just, it was getting to be a pain in the neck. So I called up Sprint, explained to the support tech what was going on. He says, oh, well, you'll have to file a claim with the insurance company. I'm thinking, oh, no, claim with insurance? This is going to be a long, drawn out thing. It's going to take six to eight weeks. And I'll have to fill out a bunch of forms, etc., etc. Not true. They transferred me to the rep at Assuring Insurance day before yesterday. It was, I think, around 11 o'clock in the morning. She said, Oh, I'll file your shipment of your new phone. It'll be there tomorrow. It's a very matter of fact, like she'd done it so many times before, which I know now that she has. But I'm still a doubting Thomas, pardon the phrase. And so I get the UPS, the shipping company, tracking number, and I put it into the UPS website. And it says, it left Kentucky at 2.30 in the morning today, that was yesterday, and it's out for shipment. You'll have it by 4.30 this afternoon. I'm going, wow, that's pretty quick. 2.30, 4.30 in the afternoon? Wow. So I waited and waited. About 2 in the afternoon, I called up the postmaster at our local post office because I, for shipping, this is a little trick. If you only have a P.O. box, and most shipping companies won't deliver to a P.O. box. So what you do is you look up the street address of your postmaster. The post office street address, in my instance, is on Colchester Drive. Let's put in the house number, Colchester Drive, unit 120 to take the number for my post office box. And Bazinga, I've got a delivery address. Amazon, UPS, FedEx, all of them use it. No problem. And this is a result of mail getting stolen, and I won't give you that long story because this one's getting to be long enough. So I call them up at 2 in the afternoon, and the girl that works there, I've known her for months and months now, says, oh, that phone got here this morning. I said, this morning, what time? Oh, about 10.30. It left Kentucky, cleared the other side of the country, and got here to Washington State at 10.30. I never realized that delivery could be that fast. So that's the big thanks to Assurian and Sprint. And I know you're thinking, thank God he's done with that. Yes, guy, it's 2017. Delivery's gotten a little bit faster. They've been doing it for a few decades. So... Another tip, moving right along, the Geyer Kirk Report questions. It's a good way to improve your brand's recognition and your online presence. Pick five of those 27 questions. It's all on the link there. And like I said, if you go to the Geyer Kirk Report .com, you can get to the show note links and it'll have that in there. And scrolling down, oh, before I scroll down, up here in the corner, I've added be a patron of our podcast. It's a little one click, gets it done. And we'd appreciate your support. There's a planning guide. So start here, planning guide. This is when you take out your pencil, your piece of paper. Remember the old school days when deliveries took a long time. We'll say it that way. And... Answer those questions that are in the planning guide, and that brain food, I'm hoping, will give you a good start on your project, your landing page, your online presence, whatever it might be. Like I said before, thanks for being a patron. We thank our patrons each and every show, because without their support, we wouldn't get there. And the other thank yous, Edinburgh Dusters, Fraser Ramsey, you know I thank him every day? 
he's the guy that popped the clutch and actually got me to quit thinking about doing a podcast and start doing one when he created the graphics said hey what about the cook report so Fraser Ramsey thank you Edinburgh Dusters the company that likes to clean if you're on that side of the pond you need some cleaning done you're in Edinburgh that's the guy to call big thanks to Eileen Smith who's got an event coming up for marketing in California and the the link is on her website basicblogtips.com go there and it'll have a, a blurb about that and thank you for telling us about screencast-o-matic that we record the show with it does a great job big thanks to friends just chatting a Facebook group that Kelvin my used to be my co-host started up him and Frazier got that going facebook.com whack groups whack that big number I'm not going to read you go to the show notes and get it and there you have it thanks for listening thanks for watching if you're on YouTube appreciate your subscription if you're on the YouTube channel and on that note I'm gonna scroll back up to the top and say thanks for watching and as I say at the end of every show every episode ends with it's a wrap